Welcome to the developmental biology playlist. In this video, we are going to look at the second week of embryonic development in humans. We are going to focus on the key events that happens in the second week. And the first and foremost event that happens in the second week is the implantation of the blastocyst. Before jumping into details, let us recap what happened in the first week of embryonic development. Everything started with the fertilization event, which leads to the production of zygote. Zygote divides and forms two cell stage, four cell stage, eight cell stage. Eventually, it becomes the morula, which has a mulberry like appearance and has 16 blastomeres approximately. Eventually, the morula would give rise to blastocyst, and this is around six to seven days. Of the post fertilization. Let's say we are around seven days. And in this stage, the blastocyst would slowly move towards the uterine cavity and ultimately it would attach to the uterine wall. At this point of time, blastocyst has two different cellular organizations. The outer layer is known as trophoblast. The inner layer is known as embryoblast, which has another name known as inner cell mass. The cells of the inner cell mass are actually pluripotent stem cells. That means it can give rise to different cell types. Eventually, the inner cell mass would become the embryo. Now, at day 8, trophoblast, which was the outer layer, further differentiates. Now it becomes cytotrophoblast and the syncytiotrophoblast. Cytotrophoblast cells play important role in terms of embedding the embryo in the uterus. The cytotrophoblast is also considered to be stem cells. They can diversify into different lineages like fusion lineage, like invasive lineage. It's also important to understand this cytotrophoblast cells fuse with each other and form the syncytiotrophoblast. Syncytiotrophoblasts are really important in terms of maternal gas exchange, nutrient exchange, and immunological and metabolic functions. It's the syncytiotrophoblast that creates the first connection between the mother and the developing embryo before even formation of the placenta. At day 8, the inner cell mass also diversify, and now it's known as the bilaminar embryonic disc. It has two layers, one the hypoblast, the second is the epiblast. Hypoblast is comprising of cells which are cuboidal in nature, and inside the epiblast, the amniotic cavity starts forming. The epiblast cells are columnar in nature, whereas hypoblast cells are cuboidal in nature. At day 8, we can appreciate heterogeneity starts appearing from a homogeneous cell pool. At least in terms of their morphology, we can appreciate the heterogene heterogeneity forming. Now at day 10, there are further development. Cells of the hypoblast move and migrate. It forms the primitive yolk sac. Also, lacuna starts appearing in the syncytiotrophoblast. Now, these lacuna would eventually form an intricate network known as a lacunar network. By the day, by the end of day ten, we can completely understand. The blastocyst has embedded completely in the endometrium. The cytotrophoblast secretes specific proteolytic enzymes that break down the extracellular matrix of the endometrium and allow the embryo to burrow deep inside the endometrium. Now, projections of the syncytiotrophoblast pull the embryo inside the endometrium until and unless it is fully covered with the endometrial epithelium. This snapshot shows you that how the embryo is burrowing deep in the endometrium by the day 10. 
at day 12 further development happens the lacunar network so lacuna becomes more uh, prominent and it invades the maternal sinusoids now it ruptures the maternal sinusoids that leads to uh, that, that leads to the blood uh, connection between the embryo and the mother so this is the first time when maternal blood is connecting with the embryo. Now, inside the cytotrophoblast and outside the hypoblast, there is formation of the extra embryonic mesoderm. Slit appears in this extra embryonic mesoderm eventually, and it ultimately forms the chorionic cavity. And there is a portion of extra embryonic mesoderm that holds the inner part of the embryo. And this is known as the primitive stalk, which is otherwise known as the future umbilical cord. So, in this video, we can appreciate how the developing blastocyst has implanted in the endometrium and slightly it has grown in size and intricate lacunar network has formed. That means the connection between mother and the embryo has been established by the second week of development. Nutrient exchange, gas exchange, everything has started by this time point. In subsequent videos, we'll look at how gastrulation process occurs. By the way, if you want the video flashcard of this topic, you can find it in my community post. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Do let me know you, uh, do let me know in the comment how you like my videos. If you wish to follow me on social media all my links are provided in the description you can click on the links and get connected to me in the social media see you in the next video